Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is number 101, or 101, in the Sudoku problem series. Um, this is a German Whisper Kropke problem, um, which ca I came to by me just playing around with stuff and liking what I saw. So the goal on this one is to fully resolve box 5, as well as to place the extra digits in the cells marked with an X. Um, there is a copy of uh, a link below where you can get a copy of the grid to try for yourself. Uh, the way the rules work is on German Whisper lines, adjacent digits must have a difference of at least five and the Kropke rules are cells separated by a white dot must be consecutive and cells separated by a black dot must be in a one to two relationship. So um, yeah, uh, I'm going to wait for a few seconds so you can pause the video, give it a try and then when you come back and unpause the video I will explain how this one works. Okay, so um, there's a few places you can start on this one but the place I like to start and where I recommend you start is on this um, black Kropke dot chain. Because um, these are in a uh, one to two relationship with each other, uh, you can never put five, seven, nine on a black Kropke dot because they're not in a, a one to two relationship with any other Sudoku digit. And three and six can never go on a chain of three dots that see each other because it'll go three, six, three or six, three, six. So that doesn't work. So these are one, two, four, eight. If this was a one, then these would be both be two. That doesn't work. If this was an eight, these would both be four. But this is a whisper line. So one of those has to be high. So one of these is eight. And if one of those is eight, this is is a four, which means these are actually eight and two. They're not one and four. So we actually get down to this straight away. Now, because two and four are on this line, this now must be three and six. And we get down to the situation where we know this is a quadruple, which is one. Uh, we've got two, three, four, five, seven, and nine. One, five, seven, and nine. Now we can never put five on a whisper line. In fact, this being a four tells us that this is the nine and there's no nine in these because four must be next to nine. Now, this is a 2, 8, and we're not sure on the order, but if this is a 6, this would have to be a 1. So this can't be a 6. This is the 3. This is the 6. 6 must go next to 1. 3 means this is high, which is, means this is 8 and this is 2. So that's the 2, 4, 8 relationship. The 1 comes out of those, so this becomes the 1. And 8 is only consecutive with the 7, which gives us the 5. 9 has to be next along on the... This digit needs to be low, but 1, 2, and 4 are already taken. So we can put in the 3 and that completes the problem. So that's the German Whisper Kropke problem. I really like this one. It uses all of the um, all of the constraints together in a really nice way. And it's just a nice little problem. I, I'm, I'm, I, I thought this one was fun. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.